Hello, everyone. It's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We are going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage, season 15 of... So this week, the theme is Beautiful Nightmare. So they needed to take something, make it scary, but fashion. I love horror, I love scary, I love the supernatural. Scare me. I'm gonna take this off. Straight to me next. <laughs> Category is Beautiful Nightmare. Up first, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh -huh, Marsha. So she's supposed to be a dentist. She's carrying a bag of teeth. I appreciate the minimalism that she does because it really takes a certain amount of courage and gusto to kind of just go with like just the bare minimum. And mm -hmm. I can I can appreciate that. I am a person who relates to doing the bare minimum, of course. And I understand thinking way outside of the box. It's a, every child's nightmare to go to the dentist. I don't find this nightmarish. I look at it and it's like, She's getting, she's, she's going to get her teeth clean. But she, yet she's the dentist. Why not have the headband with the huge reflective plate Dang, on it? yeah. I wish the jacket didn't look like it came with a pair of matching pants from like some spirit Halloween costume. It just looks... Pedestrian. The teeth should be like glued onto the smock. With that beautiful makeup, her teeth should be broken and bloody. You know, what are we looking at? Clean teeth? Great. What's so horrific about a toothpaste campaign? Hope she gets one. It's a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Lux Noir London. I'm blowing kisses at her. Chef's kisses. Perfection. Oh. The cinder block. I wonder if that's a real cinder block. I don't know. I hope it is. Jesus Christ. She brought that with her. She packed a cinder block. I think she looks yeah. frightening, but also really, really beautiful, which was the Stunning. fantasy that I had about this mm -hmm. challenge. It's like, take it there. And the white pump. <laughs> yes, bitch, you yes. pumped in white pumps and a cinder block. I love her. I've never seen a cinder block make it down no. the runway. And I can tell the we story. Can see yes, story. I can see beautiful construction of costumes constant. I see it. I own it. I wish the tights were the tights, just the as legs, gray as the, legs, yeah. the rest of it. And I wish maybe the little nighty that she had on was maybe, I don't know, maybe a little more ripped or something. The outfit doesn't need to be anything. Like she is giving an entire mood. And that's what I'm looking for. It is a beautiful nightmare. This is a toot for me. Toot. Next we bring to the stage Mistress Isabel Brooks. She created this cool cage out mm -hmm. of rhinestones to create mm -hmm. a web mm -hmm. around the neck. The mm -hmm. makeup's great, the hair is yeah. great, the yeah. jewelry is yeah. great. She is a f drag queen. Like, yeah. she's going there. But like, you know what ruins it is the little flouncy fabrics at the bottom. Exactly. Like, I love everything else, but like, it was such an afterthought and it's giving me ripped shower curtain. I wish the tattered pieces of spider web were like, just that. More webby, more, yeah. more, more, more. It just looks really chintzy and almost ruins the outfit. It needs to be shredded more. Yeah. And I, I want it to look nice like thought. cobweb. I wish that the front of this, instead of it being the, the red going all the way around, were just this like rhinestoned red black widow mark. But it's a two. Yeah, it's a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Malaysia, baby doll, Fox. Oh, it's too beautiful. Yeah, even the nightmare part is still beautiful. I would rather see her whole face peeled off. I'm not a fan of this, to be honest with you. It looks a little off. I'm getting two different looks. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is it's a sequin gown with like this belt that's probably holding all those plumes off of it that she probably had and was like, okay, let me spray some black on here and, you know, ooh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Hair's cool. Mm -hmm. All those things are cool. Every single thing she's got on is really fantastic, but as but, far as theme, it doesn't go. I need more nightmare, but I give it a toot. <laughs> I'm giving it a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Anitra. I think she looks great. 
Seriously. Like, I okay. I think she looks sexy. I like this gown. I like it too. I think it's cool. Yeah, I like the I hair. I do wish the hair were black. This should be the focal point. If this mm -hmm. is going to be the red focal point, I want to see everything to be so blacked out that this is not combating with the hair. Right. It's a beautiful gown. Yeah, it's I love the sleeves serving. on it. I love the gloves. I love that she's got that wasp spider tail. Makeup looks great. Two. Two for me as well. Next, we bring Selena Estides. <sighs> oh my God, what's happening? So she's zombie. What I do enjoy about this is the chaos. It's very chaotic. Mm -hmm. And I like chaotic drag. But I need something. I need a story here. I feel like it's a bit, a bit haphazard. But I don't think she realizes how haphazard and chaotic it is. It definitely looks like you took apart some purses and wore them. I love the stitched up leather, but like when you get to the skirt piece itself is when I'm most excited because I see some sort of like effort and construction in it. But that's it. But that's it. The rest is just kind of dirty and there's blood slapped on it. But the skirt itself, like I would love to wear that. Just the skirt. I don't need the purse straps on it. It's a boot. This one's gonna be a boot. Next, we bring Robin Fierce. Another spider lady. <laughs> so this one I'm guessing is tarantula. The legs look furrier. It's pretty. I love that she's got six legs on the dress. Her own two gams are walking down the runway. I like that there's this tutu. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a lady. I'm a debutante. I really like that kind of petticoat action that just hits just below the knee. Mm -hmm. Not a silhouette favored by many queens these days. She is giving the spider fantasy. It's a two. I give it a two. Next, we bring Lucy LaDuca. Wow, she made that herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. We love when denim is tattered and layered in different colors and different textures and mm -hmm. shredded and stoned and bleached and all that. It's great. I love the mask thing over the eye and I mm -hmm. love that it's not just like classic white. On her face. Yeah, and it's got this like kind of weathered, dirty, muddy Jason kind of thing. I love her silhouette. Her corseted body looks mm -hmm. great in it. I give her a two. Two. Next, we have to the stage, Sasha Colby. I live. What a smart way of like giving us bruja and, and being the broom itself. The hands. Yes, the mm -hmm. hands. A little like curly Q. Chromatica hand. The hat. Uh-huh. That bodysuit, uh -huh. that skirt that looks like a broom, the makeup. Could you imagine <laughs> your broom over in the corner? I love it. And you're laying in your bed, your broom is over there, and it's like, bitch, you need to clean up this mother house. It turns into this and walks over to you and is like, bitch, get to work. It's so unexpected. Bitch. Toot. It's a f toot. Love it. Next, we bring to the stage Jax. I love the body, the mug, the prosthesis. Do you know it's the prosthetics that do it for me? What kills it is that chintzy piece of fabric. That's really what ruins it. Should be more dragging behind her. Uh, or more draping on her. It's but, the suggestion of a thing. Or a different color. And why doesn't it come down, go across both breasts? It looks thrown on. It ruined it. I find the, the makeup to be really quite pale for this. I would have loved to see a little bit more scales in that makeup mm -hmm. to somehow make that disappearing nose pronounced. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hey, look what I just did. I did a prosthetic thing. It needs like scales. And then I don't quite get the bodysuit with the snakes on it. You're supposed to be a snake. Oh. And then it's like, mm, I get where you were going. Thank you for trying to take us there. This is not a trip I'm going on. I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a boot for me. Next we bring Sugar. I think she looks beautiful. No. <laughs> I, I mean, this is It's so a very, beautiful. very expected thing from, I, I knew what she was gonna bring. I knew, and her sister's gonna be the same. Yeah. You know? Only in a different color. This is the costume that you buy at the Halloween store that says <laughs> Creepy Doll. It's Bo Peep. It, it's it's Bo Little Peep. Miss Muffet. It's Muffet. She's Tyler Moore. She's Mary. Yeah. 
I get that dolls, people think of them as creepy. And when put together, especially a bunch of them in one area, can be even creepier. But this, I'm not creeped out. No. I don't think it's a nightmare. She does look beautiful. But this time around, I'm like, oh, what a missed opportunity for such a cool theme. Beautiful nightmare? That's how I live. Boot. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage Amethyst. Vintage nightmare, Lady Gaga. Nah, I'm not buying that one either. Come on. Where's the lace mask? Where's the blood on the face? Like, where's everything? Like, it's not blood and guts enough. And but it's where's the originality? Weird. Doing something that someone else already did, mm. and then to come out and do something beautiful nightmare, and be like, mm, I'm gonna do That's, that one time. I'm Lady gonna Gaga. Gaga uh, like, no, I know, and I am a, I'm a, I'm a little monster. I know you are. I love Lady Gaga, but I'm just like, ah, mm -hmm. baggy diaper. Where is it? Where's, where is it? Where is it? She should have come out with like the rope in her hand, you know, with like a rod in it, so it looks like she's hanging from like something. There's nothing inventive mm -hmm. about this. This is a boot for me. That's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Spice. She's so pretty. They're both so pretty. The twins are so pretty, but they're not nightmares. No, again, it's that bagged costume that she got that she said, okay, it could be French made. It could be baby doll. And she goes, okay, well, I'm gonna drop my eyeliner, put on a black lip, and ooh, I'm scary doll. It doesn't go anywhere. If she would have had like strings that were coming from her wrists, and right. her, like she was a marionette. Right, that, right. Like, with, the, with the little like cross like handlebars dragging behind her. Yeah. Like, something. You know what the nightmare would have been for them? Is if their outfits didn't show up in the mail. <laughs> this is a boot for me. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage Aura Mayare. <gasps> yes! Okay, see? I live. I love the hair. I do too. Oh, it's sleek. And it is the Auburn. literal definition of beautiful. And the way nightmare. the tail trails the blood. I, bravo. I love the sexy sleekness of black velvet. Not an easy thing to wear, mm -hmm. you know? And the sexy sleekness of that hair with that mm -hmm. outfit. The I simplicity love. of the structure, yeah. the shoulders, and the just, just kind of the sleek nothingness of the black, and then the sur complete surprise as she turns around and you see this bloody rhinestone spine. Fantastic. Like, that's a reveal, bitch. Assignment understood and took beyond the box. It's emotional, right? Yeah, she's and like, she served ah, it. Ooh, she's yeah. in pain. I'm sick of like the skippity skips and the curtsies, oh, blah, blah, blah. Toot. Toot. Trend alert! Arachnophobia. Ooh, curse of the spider people. The Spider-Man is having me for dinner tonight. Ooh. Ah, that's getting out. Our top two of the week, week is Aura Mayari! Work, bitch. You scared the shit out of me. I live. Or I die. If you're not too frightened, tune in to an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15, Friday on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Bye! Get out of here! We love you! We'll see you soon! Bye. Bye.